just gets this one over. The Natilika starts with a boundary, the first for the Sri Lankans. Get in, Fabi, boy! Brilliant! What a catch, Fabian Allen. We know the talent that he has on the field, but the execution this time, absolutely stunning. This time, Jason. Jason Holder settles yeah. and takes the catch. West Indies strikes again, and the somersault is out. Kevin Sinclair, that one a bit too quick onto Ditwella. Holder calling for that catch and taking it quite easily. Got him. That is a very, very good piece of catching by Kevin Sinclair. He judged it well. Great length. And again, no real offside play for Nisanka. We knew that was coming. It never looked settled. The areas we loved on the left side were clogged. So he couldn't find a way to get out. Look at that. Nice shot from Matthews. Picked the pace early and was a smidgen of width. Brilliant! Brilliant from Obed McCoy! Wickets continue to fall. Excellent discipline from the West Indies so far. Certainly was a good delivery. Pitched and left him. Easy catch in the end by Nicholas Puran. Another slow ball, this time very full. Can't get under that Ashton Bandara. But he's had some good bowling changes throughout this inning so far in Karen Pollard. This one whipped away towards mid-wicket. Goes for four. Misjudgment there from Fabian Allen. And gets the boundary. Sounded nice. That's with the win. And it goes all the way. First six of the innings for the Sri Lankans. They certainly needed, needed that. They're searching for that Yorker. Peels off the outside edge. And another boundary conceded. Looking good for the Sri Lankans. Beats the fielder. It was in the slot. That's not the area you want to bowl at this stage of the innings. Fifty for Chandima. Really, really good luck from him. Team was down under immense pressure. Carved his way to fifty or forty-two deliveries. Very good luck. Right, can the Sri Lankans get a few boundaries to close this innings? That's the first one. Goes all the way for six. Clean strike. Certainly was a good strike. Look at that. That front leg out of the way. And just missed pitch. This time by Dwayne Bravo. I was smacked high and hard for six. Only the second six of the innings. Very rare. And again, he goes straight. He has enough. He will get another boundary. This is good going by Bandara. Certainly, certainly good going. And this is shaped up to be a wonderful finish. Better from Bravo just going outside the line of the off stump. Last delivery. It's an excellent one. Yorker getting it right, Bravo. And just uh, restricting it to one run. So Sri Lanka, they finish on 131. The exact score made in that first T20 international. And you would say... A really fine effort by the bowling. 
The West Indies will be proud of this uh, first half. Dinesh Chandimal anchored the innings. 54 he got from 46. Mickey Yata and the Sri Lankans will think that they could have gotten a lot more. It certainly isn't a big total. But you never can tell. Runs on the board, always important. But I think that Captain Kyron Pollard will be quite happy with that 131. The bowlers have done a fantastic job. And I would say that the first half belonged to the West Indies. Indeed, Sir Kirtley Ambrose, 85. The partnership between Chandamal and Bandara. They had to work hard for their runs, boundaries. They weren't coming easy. And this is what they produce. There wasn't partnership at the start of the innings. Gunatilika, usually so prolific with the bat, he was uh, dismissed by a stunning catch from Fabian Allen. Asanka and Dequela. Well, they were ultra aggressive in their approach. Lost their wickets quite early. And it was left initially for Chandamal and Matthews. Then Chandimal and Bandara brought respectability to the score for the Sri Lankans. 131 for four is what they finished with. Very, very good bowling card. Except for maybe Kevin Sinclair, who's the touch expensive today, 90 from two. All the bowlers really bowled well. And at the end of the day, Captain Pollard will be happy with his performance. Especially when he did make one change to his team, left out a bowler in that of Fidel Edwards, both uh, Pollard and Sinclair made up the complement of four. So a good effort with the ball for the West Indies. Which team will write the winning script tonight? Will it be the West Indies or Sri Lanka? Didn't try to overhit it. Was searching for more timing and placement and he got them. You know, with an offer here from Akila Dananjaya. Goes big. Hits with the win. Gets it all the way for six. This opens the bleed. Diving effort there. Look like Akila Dananjaya. Yep. Young man sprinting around. Showing commitment. Yeah, yo! That's risky from Evan Lewis. And it goes for four. And again, in typical Evan Lewis's style, he gets this one over the top and gets a boundary. Leonard Simmons. Takes on Chimera, gets a boundary, and he joins uh, Evan Lewis with the power play. Somebody, somebody. Sweetly struck by Simmons. Oh, yeah. But doesn't get it over the line. What a sitter. Yeah. This time, this time the finger yeah. goes up. Evan Lewis thinks he's got some bat on this one. Might want to review. He'll have a chat with Lendl Simmons, his partner. Doesn't review. So no bat. And the first wicket down for the West Indies. Gets it past mid off this time. I suppose when we look at it again, he threw the kitchen sink because the left side cleared big time. All the way for six. Hits with whatever slight wind there is. Goodness gracious. There have been two dismissals here that I will question the thinking of the West Indies batsmen. Question Lewis, question Simmons, big time. Hit too straight and take out Wayne by Chris Gill. Oh, 
Well, that's the end of Pollard, and Shamira strikes. Lovely test match line, and a little bit of a nibble from the West Indies captain. Clean him up, gets this one through. So the patience has worked uh, for the Sri Lankans. Chris Gale has to go. Nice flight of delivery, missed it completely. Was nowhere close to it. Kuran goes straight, makes good contact, gets a six. Been a long time we waited for a boundary. Certainly was a great shot. Miscued, goes high first before it goes long and gets enough. For a moment you had your heart in your mouth. If you are a West Indian, ends with a six. Bolden, what a beauty. Nicholas Puran had no clue about this one. Look like he played on the wrong line, Nicholas Puran. Yes, he did. Probably playing for the angle to come into him, bowling around the wicket. Over. I am not sure that Powell got that as close to the middle as he would have thought. Nice wrong one from Sandakan. Powell bemused, he has not played wrist spin well across his career. Six and out. How many times have we seen that this series? Two and two! Two and two! What has gone on here with the West Indies? Unbelievable for them, but Mickey Arthur can smile. Remarkable poise from Matthews and his team. He gets it. He gets all of it. Hasaranga wrapped that up in a bow tie and presented Jason Holder with the no ball. That's gone, Miles. That's on the airport runway. That ball has disappeared. It's on the airport runway again, Fabian Allen. This is your night, maybe. You've bowled well, and a chance to finish it. It's high, it's gone. And Fabian Allen, this is your night here at Coolidge. The West Indies have walked the tough road. Brilliant young man. West Indies win by three wickets and take the series by two games to one here at Coolidge. Now for the winning captain, Karen Pollard joins me. Karen, were you pleased with that victory? <laughs> Please. A winner is a winner series, winner is a series, and we'll deal with that afterwards. Now, how do you respond to the <laughs> fact that many of your batsmen were flummoxed by the spin shown and provided by the Sri Lankans? Um, again, obviously it proved difficult. Um, they have three world-class spinners you know, in their lineup, and I thought they came and you know they bowled excellently. They bowled the right lines and the right lengths, and yes, they had us a bit bamboozled at the end of the day. Um, but you know, having said that, I think you know the belief you know in the dressing room and within the group, I think is what carried us through. Um, I know I, I can only imagine some of the chatter that would have been going on, you know, about what is transpiring here. But you know, I must give the guys credit, you know, Fabian in the back end, Hull in his nerve. But you know, more importantly, I thought Jason Hull that over against Hasaranga, that was the turning point for us, you know, in that game. You know, he used his experience, he decided that he is the one going to, you know, bat those six balls for the team and give Fabian the free will to go and continue to hit boundaries. So well done to him. But again, well done to the entire team and well done to the bowling unit as well. You have worked hard for this. Win today and for the series win. I'm not going to keep you back. You have a trophy there that you've got to take to celebrate with your team. Congratulations again and all the very best for the rest of the tour. Thank you very much. Thanks. Congratulations to Kyron Pollard.